So today I'm going to be doing a voiceover video of my first ever IEA show. I had a really good at time and a really good experience, but I decided not to do a vlog just so I could get a feel for how things will work and I probably won't do IEA show vlogs, but I can do more voiceover type videos. Um, the morning was off to a pretty rough start because I had a migraine and I have a very severe type of migraine. I've been to the hospital and the emergency room for them. But thankfully it cleared up and I felt okay so I was able to ride and I just had one class because I'm in the walk trot canoe division and I'm so glad that um, mom was able to tell my trainer that I didn't have to be scratched. That way I could do it because I had a really good experience and a really great flat class. So now I'll explain my ride and show you the voiceover in the video. So after I had my migraine, I was kind of just tired from my medication and stuff and didn't feel like I had the brain capacity to even be stressed after all that craziness happened this morning. So I felt really good going into this and the horse seemed really sweet. I was told that he takes a lot of leg and was super lazy but he was actually pretty responsive to me. I kind of made sure that he knew I meant business as soon as I got on and that trot was a little forward. I mean, it would be a good pace for like a hunter flat class, but this is equitation and it's a little different. I'm still getting used to it. And I let him move out a little more than I should have maybe and then cut across the arena and then went on the quarter line after that just to give myself more room because I wanted to get seen. I don't really know what happened there. It kind of looked like he took a canter stride. I might have put too much leg on or something, but he was really good. He was really responsive to my leg and hand so just telling him that I meant business from the start ended up working out really well and he was super sweet. I was really happy that he was the horse I drew for my first show and so then they asked us to sit the trot and he's not the smoothest but he's also not very bouncy so he's kind of in the middle and he was pretty comfy. I could just kind of sit up straight and focused some on my equitation, but he wasn't terrible to keep moving either because I was a little worried um, that he would break in the sitting trot, so I kept a lot of leg on, which worked really well. So then um, his downward transitions were very straightforward too. I just sat and kind of relaxed in the saddle. I didn't even have to use much rein, and then he would do his downward transitions. So I kind of took the walk break to just regather, and then they said canter. I didn't get any warm up, so I wasn't sure how his transitions were gonna be or how his movement was gonna be, but we had a super good transition. I think we only got like one trot stride in before that or something. I don't know, I didn't get the best look at it. So then we just cantered around. He was pretty comfy. He wasn't super hard to sit, um, except he was a little bit more forward than I was expecting at the canter, but it wasn't bad. It was just a little more than I was expecting, so I just heard with him, though, you really have to keep your foot on the gas pedal or else he's going to break, so even if he felt like he was going a little more forward, I couldn't take my leg off because he would break gait, and it worked out really well. The pace wasn't even that bad, and so my trainer told me to sit up more, so I was focusing on that a lot at the trot and canter. And so I switched my crop and then trotted around more. He was really good that direction too and super straightforward as usual. I was really happy that I got a responsive horse. Um, And then my trainer, once I got over there, told me to drop my crop because I was getting a little more horse than I expected with him. And it wasn't bad at all, but um, it would be easier to get him at a slightly slower pace or just a bit more of a normal pace without the crop, so it made sense. He was a little slower after I dropped it. So then I walked for a few strides and just regathered him, and then we got a really good upward transition. There were like no trot strides in that, which usually doesn't happen, because I feel like I get put on the lazy horses. And you can kind of see I'm really focusing on sitting back and sitting the canter, and I thought it looked pretty good. I was happy with it. 
And then um, they said trot again. They didn't have us canter for that long in this class, but there were also some less experienced riders in it. So they wanted to make sure that it would be safe for everyone. And then we just walked and we lined up and I actually ended up getting second place in this class out of 11 because I was in the second heat. So out of everyone, I was second place, which I was so happy with. I had a great experience and a really good time. Roni was awesome. Definitely one of my favorite IEA horses that I've ridden in a lesson or in a show. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. Still love each other, but sometimes I start to wonder. Back of my mind, yeah, back of my mind. Everything's fine, yeah, everything's fine. I mean, it sounds like a lie, no, it doesn't feel right.